I would say there's one more important building in this town, and that's probably the school. Socially, this is the most important building there is here. It's a place for the, the, the parents to congregate, the kids to congregate, uh, to learn the, the sport, to learn team play, to learn that life isn't fair either. You got so many life lessons that you can learn from hockey, and I, I feel it's a very important sport. Oh, it's been a real asset to the community because I don't know what the kids, if you can get them off the couch and away from thumb activity, <laughs> uh, I think they're healthier. For winter, we're always here. Summer, we're always here. In the winter, hockey games going on all the time. It's just a, like the center of our town. So the first rink that I remember was a dome-shaped building and it was heated with three pot-bellied stoves, one for the home team and one in a dressing room for the guests and one in the entrance. They tore the first one, well, it simply fell apart. So the next one they built uh, is where the United Church sits now. It, it actually was the same thing. They used it until it was no longer usable. So they built one beside the curling rink, but we had a very heavy snowfall. The roof caved in and it was, they couldn't repair it. And so we were without a rent only for a year. Then this building that we have now uh, was purchased in Brooks, Alberta. They were going to have it for an agricultural building and they ran out of money. So they put it up for auction and we were lucky enough to buy it and moved it to Gull Lake and mostly volunteer labor that put it up. My dad was a very big community man. He was actually involved in the original purchase of the building. Uh, so him and a, a committee uh, went together and they purchased this rink. And I remember it as a kid because it, well, I wasn't very old when this uh, was erected. So I was one of the first, you know, minor hockey players to actually grow up in this rink. Um, you know, <laughs> to this day, it's one of the premier rinks. You know, you don't get many rinks like this but it's getting up there. You know, we need some repairs. <laughs> as long as I can remember, they were Greyhounds. And, and it's kind of cute because the little teams go by Greyhound too. They carry on the name. We've always been the Greyhounds. A couple years ago, we uh, actually got involved a girls hockey team and we're called the Southwest Cyclones. I was able to play on that team the very first year that they came about. It's definitely showing some diversity to the rink. You know, minor hockey has been fantastic, especially of late. We've got unbelievable uh, boys and girls teams in this rink. We have some kids that come through our program that, you know, don't just keep their hockey to go late. When you're a little town, you've got to make the most of the opportunities that are there. What the little town doesn't have, once you get the basics, you can go higher. Well, I think Gull Lake offers an opportunity for progress. In January, I went and played on the U18 Team Canada in Dimitrov, Russia. And over there, we won a bronze medal. <laughs> During the round robin, I got player of the game, which was a really huge accomplishment for me. And it's so far been the height of my journey so far and hopefully a lot more opportunities to come. There's some very good uh, communities in our area that support their ranks. 
But what I think sets us apart is we're so community supported. You know, you come to this rink in a Greyhound game and there's 300 or 400 people sitting in the stands in, in a lot of games. You come to the midget game and there's just as many. Today I enjoy just watching the kids grow and improve. And there's always someone to visit with while you're in between periods. And huh, it's a social time for me. We always had such good crowds and the loud horn always honking when you scored a goal. There was the little kids all sitting around just waiting for us to score and when we did, they were so pumped to pull that string. Four years ago we won D Provincials, which was the first uh, provincial championship in Gall Lakes history when it comes to senior. I'll never forget it. You couldn't fit one more person in this rink. This is just the most amazing atmosphere we've ever been in. The oldest player in our team was 38 years old, really good hockey player. His words before we went into the D final was, guys, this is a way bigger than us. This is about your community. This is about keeping your rink alive. This is for the little kids that look up to everybody here and want to be a Greyhound. This is about the fans all coming into the rink and, and packing the place and having something to feel good about when they leave. You know, because that's community spirit. Without Gull Lake, I wouldn't have been able to play such a high level of hockey. It's where I learned how to skate. It's where I learned how to shoot, stick handle. It's basically taught me all the basics and it's kind of formed me into the player and the person I am today.